Now, in a reflective monologue, Mr. M describes the chaos he witnessed during the riots, detailing his harrowing journey to school amidst violence and destruction. Look, I just want to correct something on the last slide. Uh, Mr. M did not die in Act 2, Scene 1. Yep, that was a mistake on my part. Apologies. He recounts seeing a young student writing liberation first, then education, on a wall symbolizing the shifting priorities of the youth. Mr. M is now deeply troubled by the violence, viewing it as a nightmare that disrupts the orderly routine that gives his life meaning. And he grapples with the realization that his belief in education as a tool for change is being tremendously overshadowed by the rising militancy among the youth. So it's almost going against his values as a teacher. His values of fighting the apartheid government with the dictionary as opposed to a stone. And this scene, it delves into Mr. M's internal conflict as he confronts the limitations of his own ideals in the face of societal upheaval. Liberation first, then education. Freedom first, and then education. So these are the priorities of the youth. Okay, I just want to re-emphasize that. This is what your common schoolgoer wants to experience. They want to be free individuals, and then they want to be educated. And, well, obviously this troubles Mr. M quite a bit because he is an educator. 